Well, Teresa, I'm really glad to meet you. Now, you'd been married eight years. Yes. And you had three children with this man. Yes. So across the eight years, no marriage is perfect and nobody has a, a success-only journey, but would you consider it to be a happy union? Yeah, for the most part, it was. I mean, obviously, we've had our challenges here and there, but sure. we never brought up divorce. And you were both ambitious. Yes. And you're well-educated. Two bachelors and two masters. Two bachelors and two master's mm -hmm. degrees. And so both of you were working and getting educated, moving forward in life, right? Right. Take me through the moment that you were first told that your husband was plotting to murder you. When did that take place? The, the police came to your home. Yes. So initially, the morning of June 26, we were going we were going to leave for our trip, like 7 o'clock in the morning. All of our bags were packed, me and the kids. We were going to take a trip from Arizona to California. And he kept getting these phone calls. Finally, he, he answered the call, and it was detectives calling him saying that there was a, a potential break-in at the martial arts studio that we own. He told me who, you know, what the call was about, and he said he's going to head over there to the martial arts studio. And I fell back asleep. And then um, I hear like this loud knock at the door. My mother-in-law is calling me downstairs and saying that the police are here to see me. At what time was this? Probably 6 o'clock in the morning, okay. 6, 6.30. All right. And then, uh, so I run downstairs, and then the, the, uh, there's six detectives standing at my door, and they ask if they can speak to me outside privately. They okay, have so you're them. standing on the porch. Right. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. There are half a dozen detectives standing there, and they say to you what? They proceed to tell me that they've arrested my husband at the martial arts studio, that they made up the thing about the break-in at the martial arts studio, the dojo, and that they have him on recording um, with a sting operation that they did, talking about his plot to murder me. Take me through that moment when you're realizing that this man that you have three children with, that you've been married to for eight years, and that you're planning to take this celebratory trip with, this vacation, has in fact been arrested for planning to murder you. How do you that, wrap that your head around day. that? That was the worst day of my life. And there, was, there were so many thoughts running through my head at the time. I mean, you have to realize what I had been going through. All of the lies, the betrayal, and they confirmed with me if I had a life insurance policy, and I, and I confirmed that I did, and it was for $500,000. They showed me pictures um, of his Facebook page and, and the fiancé, and as it turns out, he actually had about four I want to say at least four or five different Facebook pages and profiles, different aliases. I think that there was a lot of things that, that went on behind the scenes that I don't know about. So now I'm questioning everything. I thought about how back in, um, was it like around October of 2019, I got pregnant and then I lost the baby in December. And he wasn't at all uh, sympathetic about it. He, he wasn't empathetic. He, he just said all the wrong things. He said to me, he said to me that I'm too old to be having babies. Like, this is not what you tell somebody that just had a miscarriage. It's not. No. And, and at the timeline, they were telling me how long he had been with this other woman, the fiance, 10 months. I was pregnant at that, at, you know, like she, he was with her at the time. He was with me. But how, how would he explain to his fiance that he's <laughs> having a new baby with me? We're so I'm having a, all of these thoughts, all yeah, of these emotions all this is racing running through you at me. One time, it all starts clicking. Yeah. Hey, did you like that video? Well, click subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications. You won't want to miss what I have coming up.